All of us in this House waited eagerly for an honest and comprehensive account of the challenges and success of this government in the last year, but we were sadly given an exercise in which facts gave way to fiction, an address whose soaring rhetoric was completely divorced from the abject reality of our country's social and economic situation, a concerted effort to mask the failures of the much-advertised flagship schemes of the present government, and an address where grandstanding and propaganda were deployed effectively to mask the way in which this present government has embraced failure, mediocrity, and a dearth of solutions and ideas to take India forward. But beyond all of these aspects that we are now used to from this government, the fact that the address failed to even speak of the constitutional and political crisis that our country is facing in the face of nationwide protests it was not just disappointing, but an abdication of any moral responsibility by the ruling dispensation. There was the usual lip service paid to skill India, digital India, and start-up India, but no mention of stand-up India since you are so busy banning stand-up comedians. <laughs> and no admission that your government's scheme should really be renamed Sit Down India, Shut Down India, and Shut Up India. <laughs> So many examples of poor governance by this government in the last year that it is very clear that their clarion call recently quoted by an ally of theirs of Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas, <coughs> Sabka Vishwas honestly reminds me of what Napoleon said about the Holy Roman Empire, that it was neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Na Sabka Saat hai, na Vikas hai, na Vishwas hai. All of these aspects pale in comparison with the larger crisis that is holding hostage the future of the India we cherish. Even as they've driven the economy into the doldrums, the present ruling dispensation has become a tukde tukde gang. Yeah. They are dividing this country into tukde, Hindus versus Muslims, Desh Drohis versus Desh Bhakts, <laughs> Ram Zadeh versus, I won't say that, Hindus versus Muslims. Hindi speakers versus non-Hindi speakers, us versus them. Yeah. In 1947, Mr. Chair, we had a partition of the Indian soil. In 2020, this government is giving us a partition of the Indian soul. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.